Welcome to this video today about Charlie's new prison. I'm not sure if this is Charlie's final stop, but I've been checking the Bureau of Prisons almost weekly and I saw that the location of Charlie's facility has changed. He is currently in close custody, which means they're monitoring him very closely. And we all know that they were looking for a special prison for him that would protect his life. And it looks like right here that they've transferred him to the Wakula Annex. Let's just go ahead and take a look at where this correctional institution is. This correctional institution is in Crawfordville, Florida. Let me just zoom out a little bit. If you get an idea, it's just south, a little southwest of Tallahassee in kind of a, a small-ish town. It's on the map, but Crawfordville is definitely on the panhandle of Florida. I've heard of it. But let's just go ahead and hear a little bit more about this prison. The Wakula Correctional Institution and Annex, located in Crawfordville, is a level five facility that can house approximately 1,523 male adult inmates of minimum and medium custody levels. Educational opportunities for inmates include adult basic education, literacy courses, creative writing, small business concepts, computer software courses, GED classes. Inmates can also take vocational courses, including home improvement, drafting, and CDL theory. Offenders can also participate in substance abuse treatment, such as Alcoholics and Narcotics Anonymous, and observe obsessive compulsive behavior recovery. The chaplain's office offers a large variety of religious-based programs and self-improvement courses that include re-entry programs and are made available to inmates. I noticed that they have large faith-based program. As you see here on the sign, it says, faith and character-based facility. We never walk alone. So uh, I just wanted to share some of this information with you all. Um, if this is Charlie's final stop, he is not near his family in South Florida. He will be on the panhandle for the rest of his life. If he stays at this facility, he'll be a little bit closer to his child, not very close. I also wanted to give you guys a list of some of the programs that they have in this facility. They have basic education, substance abuse programs. They have a lot of chaplain services, a lot of faith-based programs. You can see here they have uh, Hebrew and Jehovah's Witness, Jewish Sabbath. Maybe Charlie will get into some religion. That could be great for him. And uh, Messianic Jewish Sabbath. A lot of study opportunities, a lot of religious opportunities for Charlie and Maybe this could just be the best place for him in his retirement and doing serving time for such a horrible, heinous act that he did. I also wanted to share with you all something that came up on my local news station that there was an inmate there was an inmate who was killed at this institution, so I'm not really sure what the actual facility is like, but this man right here was serving two life sentences and they found him dead in the prison. So I don't think that Charlie is going to be completely safe here, but let's just stay tuned. I'll definitely request some records and uh, more information to come about the prison and this facility. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.